Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Controlman Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to do a long exposure in Controlman Icon. Now the way we do a long exposure is by using bulb mode. And we have a separate long exposure workflow. Newer Nikon bodies have the ability to do bulb while tethered. So this is a D800 we're connected to now and it has this ability. So I can just set the shutter speed to bulb, set my exposure time, which is 34.2 seconds here, and then click on capture and it will capture that. However, older Nikon bodies such as a D7000 cannot do tethered bulb, even though bulb appears in the shutter speed list. Older bodies such as that need to make use of an external trigger device such as a DS USB which Control My Nikon supports. And this is just a, a small box, it costs about $100 and plugs into your USB port on your computer and has a separate cable to your trigger port on the body. And we'll have a separate video on how to use the DS USB device. Let's see what we need to do to do a long exposure. And we've already had a tutorial video on how to do bulb shooting. And that was simply setting it to bulb, going into long exposure, setting the time, and pressing capture. And that captures a single long exposure image. But the long exposure workflow is a bit more intricate. And it helps step you through the different steps you need to be able to determine what the correct exposure time is and prompts you to create a dark frame as well. So let's just step through it. It's written right here on the screen. So if you already know the exposure time and you might have a separate app maybe on your smartphone that calculates it for you, just go to step 12, set the time and press capture and it will capture the image. Okay, number two, disable the noise reduction on the body LCD menu. Normally when you take a long exposure, and let's say you take a five minute exposure, if you have noise reduction enabled on the body, it will capture for five minutes, you'll hear the shutter click, and then it will capture another image with the shutter closed, and it'll make that also for five minutes. That second image it captures is only an image of the sensor noise. So then the body does some computation where it deducts that sensor noise, from your first five minute image and then the resulting image is a five minute exposure minus the noise. But when you're doing long exposures with your computer it is best that you disable that and do the long exposure noise reduction in an external application such as raw therapy. And this is a freeware app. It's extremely good for converting raw images and it can also remove noise. So let's look at the rest of these steps. So we've got disable noise reduction. So let's say we've done that. And if you're doing a long exposure, especially during brighter lighting conditions, such as during the day, you might have a filter that you're gonna use. So you can remove that neutral density filter. Then cover the viewfinder so no light gets in. And there can be a little bit of light leakage through the viewfinder, and it makes a difference on a very long exposure. These exposures can go as long as 30 to 60 minutes on some Nikon bodies and a tiny amount of light getting in makes a big bad difference. Now set the body to aperture mode and then press this button here to capture. So that's going to capture the image. You're going to use the information from that image to help you determine what your long exposure time is going to be. So let's say we've captured that image. You can just go to the image in the image browser. So let's say the shutter speed was 1 200th of a second. Okay, set the body back to manual mode switch it back to bulb mode, then put the filter onto the lens and then enter the f-stop of the filter. One of the filters I use during the day is welding glass and this is extremely dark glass uh, that welders use and it has a gold film on top of it to reduce the amount of infrared exposure and it has an f-stop of about 12. So then you press calculate and it uses this information and your filters f-stop to say you need a 20 second exposure. And that will give you the same kind of exposure as you had here in aperture mode. The same relative brightness. 
Okay. Then click on capture. So now you capture it for 20 seconds and I'm just going to capture it here. And I just have an object in a light box here. Of course, this really isn't a good subject for long exposure, but you'll get the idea. Of course, it's bright white because this is just basically overexposed in this example. Now, the next thing you do is you press capture again to capture a dark frame. This will also take a 20 second image. Now when you do this last part, you want to ensure that you've blocked the light from entering the lens. So now you have two images. You have a main image and you have a dark frame. And this dark frame, the second one, would basically look very dark with lots of noise on it. Then you take those two images and put them in an external application such as RAW Therapy 2 and that will remove the noise from the first image. And the resulting image is your long exposure. And that's it. That's how you capture a long exposure in Control My Nikon. Happy tethering.